Hi, welcome to my dirty ass kitchen. So it's snack day. I haven't made any snacks in a while in the dehydrator and I'm just about out of everything. So I figured I would uh, try something experimental. One of the things I'm doing is the old standby banana chips. I don't do anything special with these. I literally just slice them up with the uh, mandolin slicer and drop them on the tray and dehydrate them at uh, low temperature. Somewhere around, uh, I would say about 125, four or five hours. These are a little bit thinner than I normally go, so I probably won't need nearly as much heated time, which is a good thing because the other thing I'm doing today is I'm making um, triple berry fruit roll ups. Just don't pay, pay no attention to the logo. <clears throat> anyway, so this is as simple as letting the frozen uh, berries thaw out. And I let them thaw for about two days in the fridge because I forgot to do it. And throw them in the blender and let it rip. So let me show you what the blender looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to put this on. I, I worked my way up from... from uh, puree to liquefy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit that on liquefy. The whole idea here, is for a nice smooth consistency where all the chunks are beat up and it's nice and um, thick. And then we're gonna pour it into the dehydrating trays and go from there. So anyway, let it puree for five to six minutes until it's in a good solid consistency and then you can uh, break and put them into the dehydrating trays. By the way, today, tonight's drink, Knob Creek, on the rocks, because I'm not as manly as some of y'all. And I don't care. Fruit roll-up trays, essential for this. Works really well, but you have to do a few things to them first. One of those things is spray them lightly with some sort of a release agent. In this case, I'm using the, again, ignore the logo, canola oil. Of course, counter space is my big limit right here. But it's a very, very light coating. You don't need much at all. And this can is about empty, so it's doing all kinds of rude things. And then, and then we're just going to pour it into the mold. It's pretty thick. Making a giant mess here. I tell you to pour these thicker towards the ends. Which I would love to do, or to, towards the edges. That might be a little difficult, so we're going to go ahead and set this down here. Then you're going to have to use a spatula, which I'm probably going to have to do. A combination of spatula and motion. Now for the spatula, I typically use a silicone because it does stick less. Sure, if I gave it enough time, it would level by itself, but who's got time for that? That looks pretty good. Go here. So 
first four. Now those don't go in the dehydrator all by themselves. They actually have to ride on a tray. So we're doing this here. I'm not sure how much of this you're gonna get. This one's gonna be tough because I have a couple of trays underneath it, but we're gonna turn. Which means I've got two extras. Luckily, I have more in the blender, quite a bit more in the blender, actually. This is going to be fun. I wonder if cherry rolls will work. We have a lot to work with here. This one may take a lot longer to dry because I'm going to pour this one thick. It's gonna work out great. Now keep in mind, this is the first time I've done this. And I actually do have some left over, but we'll see how this works out. These are the thick ones. Be careful of that. So these will obviously take a lot longer to run. Okay, and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the um, dehydrator. Uh, I'm gonna set them low because I'm probably gonna end up uh, letting these run most of the night. You don't wanna let them go too long because then they start to crack and peel and they're not very appetizing. Also, I just realized that the last two I did, I totally forgot to spray those with uh, canola oil. So we'll see how they come out. All right. See you in a few hours. Good morning. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. and everything's been dehydrating overnight. Uh, at this point, we're gonna take a quick look at what's going on and see if any of this is ready. As you can see, we're running about 110 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. Obviously, it's a dial, so it's not gonna be as accurate as digital. And we can see that we're getting some cracking now, which, not good but it's also still not dry, which means it's got a long way to go. So to get the consistency that I'm looking for, I may have to do some reprocessing. And it's actually a simple process. Um, one of the things we can do is uh, add some more water to it. And once we have water in it, uh, uh, mix up a little bit and then and re dry it. It helps to redistribute everything. One of the things I learned with um, apple fruit roll-ups is to get best result is to actually cook the fruit first. Um, I didn't do that with this. I simply took it out of the bag because I figured it would already be pre-cooked, but that may have been a mistake. So if this is a complete failure, we'll have to try again in a couple days. Um, you're probably wondering about the bananas. Bananas. Those are clearly done. Yeah, the bananas are clearly done. So we'll pull those out, let them cool, and uh, then package them. All right. Well, here we are. Um, it's a little bit more than eight hours later. I uh, had to work, and they weren't done. So I checked on it the last time you saw that. Um, I shut it off about 1, 1 ish so we're looking at probably 13 hours worth of drying time. This is what we come up with. It's dry, it's golden, it's dark. A little bit cracked, like I said, but it seems to be holding together surprisingly well. And somebody may have tried some of that. So from here forward, it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of peeling those out and uh, storing them. <clears throat> so here we are. I'm going to see if we can't get these uh, pulled out of here. The flexible trays, it's usually a little bit easier. And of course, if you 
properly spray it, oh, it might actually be easy. I'm going to try something. Silicone spatula. As you can see, it's starting to tear here. I think a lot of this would be helped if I cooked it, so next time I do this, I will in all likelihood make that effort. There we go. And of course, wax paper is going to be easier. Realistically, you can get away with a lot. Let's keep rolling over. All right. Well, that was the easy one. But I do have a tray here that I forgot to spray. So let's give that a shot. Now these were a lot thicker. This is the last batch I poured. As you can see, they cracked a lot more. So this might be a lot more difficult. Or maybe this is the one I didn't remember to spray. Because that was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Well, that's the whole process. I've made triple berry fruit roll-ups and uh, learned some lessons for next time. Talk to you later.